view the film with an open heart and with a mind set on solution-focused ideas. People who mine gold are very happy with it left. As a byproduct, they still make money. Having finished the film, I'm faced with the question of where people with disabilities land in Sheila, all the people that we were working with pushing shopping carts, keeps them busy, keeps them active. What on earth is going to happen to them? That's about 400 people. Systems are made to do what they do. They design systems to work like they work. And one of the things they have is systemic poverty. So they concentrated that in West Oakland. Now they want to try to change it, and they couldn't do it. Because the people are not going anywhere. They have nowhere to go. All it is like shifting trash around, you know, and eventually the circle will come right back to there. The notion that all these people are thieves, the only thing they do is theft. And what are they stealing are garbage. And the only thing that they then do with the garbage, not food, not shelter, not housing, they then go to the park and do drugs. This dehumanization is happening at the level of our city and by our neighbors who are my friends. What is going to happen August 20th in our city and our neighborhood? All these people are going to be utterly confused about where to go and what to do and how to survive. And we don't have an answer for that as a community. There's a recycling center closed. There's going, to, there's going to be a lot of problems in West Oakland, especially about the recycling center, because people don't have a way to, uh, you know, feed themselves, or they don't have a way to make money. And two, for the walk, almost to downtown Oakland to catch recycling, and I'm 71 years old. That's too much of a walk. You know? I was working for Alliance Metals for 13 years. I think it's going to be devastating. I think. Uh, it's uh, my personal plans. I don't really have any at the moment. I think right now I'm mentally exhausted from everything that's gone on. I, I don't even know that I have words to really say what's going to happen. I, I know people are going to be angry. If there's no uh, recycle center, right, um, people result in prostitution, uh, stealing out of cars, uh, robbing people, um, burglarizing stuff. And it's a real situation that's being made like by the politicians, small town politicians and the city governments, right? So we need to really take a hold of the small town politician in the city governments and basically make them answer. Is there any support that the city or community can provide to the workers? And I have to do some thinking about that. And again, the, the conversation stimulates awareness and awareness can then stimulate what we do next. The more you know people, the more you walk with them, the more there is room for compassion. And if your perception shifts, space shifts, possibilities shift. So our goal was to shift perception and hopefully even policy.